to uh, one of the earlier problems that we did, which looks like this. We did this problem when we weren't talking about friction yet. Um, remember, there was a four kilogram object. I, I put the exact same numbers here, uh, 35 degrees, and we had an M. But this time, I'm going to add friction to the problem, and we're going to analyze the inclined plane. But this time, I'm going to have mu s is 0.4, mu k is 0.2. Now, in that problem, I had asked, what is the m needed? What is m needed for equilibrium? Right? So that the system doesn't move. Remember, the, that was the first thing that I had asked. Oh, by the way, I did, did we get the answer here? What does the A come out to be? It should be less than the A from the uh, part C. 3.0. OK, good. So what is M needed for equilibrium? Now. Here, I'm not only going to ask this, but I'm going to add a little qualifying statement here. I'm going to say, what is M needed for equilibrium so that no friction is needed, so that the FS is still zero? So that FS is still zero. Part B, I'm going to ask, Similar to what we had asked in that problem, we had said, uh, what's going to happen if the M is one kilogram more than this? And then part C of that problem, we had asked, what's going to happen if the M is one kilogram less than this, right? So I'm now going to ask that, uh, what will happen if M equals plus or minus one kilogram from this. Plus or minus one kilogram <clears throat> from this mass. Then I'm going to say, now this one I'm, I can ask more questions because of the friction aspect, right? I'm going to say, what will happen if M is one or kilogram from this? Then I can ask questions such as, what is the minimum mass that I need here so that I can make the system begin moving up the incline, right? Okay, what, it, what will happen if I have one kilogram more than that? Okay. What will happen if M equals one kilogram more? The other opposite extreme of that is what is the maximum mass that I can put on the hanger? What is the maximum mass I can have there where the system will still move down, down the incline, right? So there's a certain maximum mass I can have there. What is M max? So system moves down incline. What will happen if M is one kilogram less than that. E, then I could say, what is the mass needed here uh, so that once the system moves, it goes at constant velocity? What is the, I'll write it this way, what is M needed for constant velocity once system moves? 
up or down the incline. Of course, if this, if this kind of problem is given on the test, I don't necessarily ask all of the questions. I might pick and choose a couple of these questions, you know. I might pick like, I could say, what is the maximum mass needed to make it move? What's going to happen? What is the maximum mass needed to make it move down? So I could pick and choose some of these uh, questions. But at least if you know how to approach the whole thing, the idea behind it, you can answer any question. <clears throat> Okay, the answer to the first part, part A, is going to be the same answer as the, the answer to the other problem that we had without friction. Remember the question was what is the M needed so that there's no, uh, free, uh, so that it's in equilibrium. Well, it, what is M needed so that you don't even need friction and it's still in equilibrium? And what was the answer to that question? What was the answer to that other problem, the question A? Two point two nine kilograms, and you're right. That's the same answer as this one. In other words, if you have 2.29 kilogram here, the thing, the system will be in equilibrium and there, there won't be any friction even. There won't even be friction on this guy. There's no need for friction. That is balancing this out perfectly, completely. Okay? Now, part B, what will happen? Now, we can again skip part B, go to C, then come back to B, because in C, what is M min so system moves up incline? So um, in order for the system to move up the incline, uh, the, here are the forces on, the, on uh, the hanging mass. We have the Mg. We have the tension T. And on the 4 kilogram mass, we have the tension T. Right? And we have the, remember the downward component of the weight is 4 times 9.8 times sine of uh, 35. And now, if this guy is trying to make the 4 kilogram block move up, which direction is the friction going to be? Down, right? So when you keep adding more mass to this, you keep adding more mass, more mass, more mass, this thing wants to start moving down and tells this guy, okay, come with me. But then friction, the friction on this guy is down, says, no, I don't want you to go. Okay? So the friction here is mu s n. 0.4 times n, right? But what is the n? Well, the n is this direction, and the n equals to 4 times 9.8 times cosine 35. Okay? So now, uh, what's going to have to happen is, is in order for the system to move, the mg is going to have to equal to t, And the T is going to have to equal to the sum of both of these forces. Well, this one we can rewrite as uh, 39.2 plus 0.4N. But the N is equal to 39.2 cosine of uh, 35. 